Hi there. Welcome to Stampin' All Day with Bev. It is Tuesday, so it is my Tuesdays to be continued. And what that means for those of you who have not been here before is that every Sunday at 7 p.m. Pacific Time, I go live with a bundle or a suite or a collection. And then on Tuesday at 2 p.m. Pacific Time, I also go live and I continue on showing you more ideas. Hi, Sue, welcome. Uh, more ideas that I've come up with with the items I was using on Sunday. Hello there, Jean, welcome. So I see you guys popping on. It's a little bit, I think I clicked on right at two o'clock. Hey, Karen, Karen's all the way from Texas. Uh, Sue is from Arizona, Jean is from Tracy, there's Cheryl, Cheryl, I'm not sure where you're from, uh, what city, but I know you've been here before. Welcome, welcome everybody. Hi Debbie, Debbie's from California, um, Stockton, about 30 minutes from me. So um, welcome everybody. Hey Pamela, Pamela's right here in Tracy where I am. We're good friends, we've been friends about a year and a half now. Deborah French from Michigan. Awesome. We've got representatives from the United States, don't we? It's awesome. All right. So, uh, wish I could be on. Oh, but you have an appointment. Oh, it's okay. You can watch the replay. Wichita, Kansas. Woohoo. All right. So, um, I'm going to continue on with the collection that, uh, or I'm sorry, the bundle, autumn, 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 autumn leaves, and then the DSP autumn, all about autumn. Now, the All About Autumn DSP is not available right now, again. And all I can do is apologize and, um, you know, just uh, maybe let Stampin' Up! know your concerns or your, your disappointment if you went online to order something today and it was not available, something new from the um, online exclusives. I wish that everything was available. It's a problem, but, you know, they're trying their best. You have it and you love it. Yes, I have it. I just got it, though, and I love it, too. So let's turn down and see who won the prize of the month. Let's see who won the card from Sunday, and let's see the new design I have for you today. Thank you all for being here. I'll move my chair out of the way and turn you down. And also turn you around. There we go. All right, so here is the card that I made on Sunday. And everybody seemed to like it a lot. So let me open it up and see who won this great prize. I'm glad, Deborah. Roz Wolf. Roz, I need your address. Please email that to me so I can get this card into the mail as soon as possible for you. Let me see. I'm going to open it up and fold it and get, get it ready for the mail for you. Put your little name in there. So Roz, that's for you. You just need to email me your address. Here is my email right here, and that's where I will see it. Okay. Next, the October prize. These are also not available right now. Two of my customers tried to order them this morning and they were not available. They'll be back November 27th, the week of. I'm not sure what day, but the week of November 27th, they will be back. But I had a feeling they were gonna be popular. I got an extra set. Hello, Jan. And they are the prize for October. So who, uh, if you placed an order with me, your name automatically got put in this drawing. And let's see who the winner is. Karen Kirshner. She is a lucky gal. She ordered from me. Her name was randomly put in the drawing. And she is going to get this pack of birds and dragonflies sent to her with her thank you card. That's going to go out tomorrow morning. Okay. So, if you're new here, you, uh, my name is Beverly Morales. Let's show you here. That is the spelling, correct spelling of my name. I live in Tracy, California, and you can shop with me at beverlystamps.stampinup.net. 
You can email me with any questions um, to, to place an order, just to talk. And especially if you win something from me, you need, I need to get an email with your address. Hey, Viola, welcome. Welcome home. All right, so I laid out the dies from um, the all about or the autumn leaves bundle because I used all of these leaves on this project. I also used the all about autumn six by six designer series paper. There is the code for the paper. Here is the code for the bundle. Here is the code for just the stamp set. And here is the code for the decal circle dies. I'm gonna use those again. So excited to win, especially since they're not available right now. Thank you, Beverly. You're welcome, Karen. You are so welcome. In the decal dies, <clears throat> I am going to be using the second and the third down from the largest, okay? So look at all of these dies. So this is the largest, so I'm using the two that are just under that. So I call them, this is number one, I call this two and three. All right, and I think I didn't give you the code for just the dies. The dies are 162185. But remember, if you want the bundle, you use this code and you'll get both the stamp set and the dies. Okay. So I had a lot of leaves to cut out, so I just laid them out here and I cut them out in advance so you didn't have to watch me do that since you saw me do that on Sunday, okay? So here's the largest die, and I just grabbed pieces from this packet here, and I used some of the shiny side, the specialty side, and I used some of the sides with the autumn leaves in there, all different ones for different leaves. I also stamped on some of the leaves with the stamp set that coordinates with Moody Mauve. Okay, you can't see that really well on camera because I can just barely see it. It's very subtle in person. I also cut out what I'm calling the stems and the veining because on Sunday I did not use the veins and look how pretty if you cut these out on DSP as well, on the autumn, all about autumn DSP as well. Then it really shows up well. So I've got two leaves where I want to add their veining. Let me move these out of the way. Just wanted to show you how many, and this is not all the dies either. There's some tags and there's some stitching dies in the um, autumn leaves set. Okay, I'm gonna need my liquid glue. And I'm gonna flip these over. And I also purposely did one on the specialty side, the shiny side, and then I'm gonna put one down on what I'm calling the flat, so it's not shiny at all. So I'm just gonna turn this one over this way and turn this one over, wait a minute. No, I did them both on the flat side, that's right, okay. So I just need a little bit of glue. So I just put a dot and then I'm taking the nose of my applicator and I'm spreading that dot out. It's very important that um, you don't get too much glue on these little veining because you will make a mess if you do. And when you press it down, it would squeeze out and get onto your leaf. The other thing you wanna have, if you don't already have one, is the silicone craft sheet because you're gonna notice that I did get, let me move, I did get some glue off of the veining. And because it's on my silicone craft sheet, I won't have a mess anywhere. This will dry and then I'll be able to rub it off really easy um, and have a clean sheet again. So now this veining is just gonna lay right on top of the largest leaf.
then I took this leaf. I want the flat side of that. When I say flat or matte, I guess matte. You know how you have glossy and matte paint? I'm calling these the matte sides, the veinings of matte sides of the paper. Okay, so there we go. Those two are done. Here is my host code for the month. If you're going to place an order this month and it's not $150 or more, please use that host code. If you forget, don't panic. I can call Stampin' Up! and have it added as well. So now, after I've got that veining on there, I wanted to do that first before I showed you the card just so I didn't lose them. So now I'm going to show you the card. Do you remember um, a while back I made a... A chicken card and it was yellow and polka dot and it rocked and I made it with the decal circles. Well, I thought for autumn I would make a chick another chicken, but this one isn't cute like that yellow polka dot one was absolutely darling. This one is beautiful. It is so pretty and the layout of the leaves makes the beak, the plume, even the eyes, and all the feathers. I absolutely love this little guy. Oh, Debbie, you love it too. I think it would look so pretty decorating for Thanksgiving. Thanks, Sharon. She is beautiful, isn't she? And she is made completely, oh, look at all the hearts. Thank you, guys. She is made completely with this DSP. So let me show you how I did that. And um, I want to show you, though, also in this pack, when it becomes available again, we have, they have put in some um, wood grain. And I almost hate using that wood grain because when I do sympathy cards, get well cards, blessing cards, well, I can't find one easy, so I'm just going to take the one out that I that I have for today. Um, the background of her, what should we name her? Can you guys come up with a name for her? What should her name be? Her body is the wood grain. And her body is the decal dies. Okay, so let me show you what I did. I got the six by six piece of um, designer series paper and a six by six piece of early espresso cardstock. And I'm gonna put those through my cutting die cutting machine together. Okay, at one time. And I'm gonna use the second to the largest um, decal circle die to cut this out. Now, why did I choose um, the circle, this, this size? Because it fits in an envelope, that's why. I was scared that the largest one might not fit in there or might be too snug because notice that her leaves, her feathers are off the, uh, off the card a little bit and it's still, if you put it at a slant, fits in an envelope. And the back is pretty as well. Okay. So let's get my machine here. And this is the code for the cut and boss machine if you need one. And it comes with all these platforms that I'm using. There's platform number one, platform number two, platform number acrylic number three, your project and then another acrylic number three. It's gonna crank that through. I have a piece of cardstock and designer series paper, so I'm gonna crank it back. And I'm going to have cut out both pieces at one time. Then I took the decal number three, smaller, so one size down from the one I just used, it's just number two. And I'm not gonna do it for you, I already did it, but I want you to know that I cut out a piece of very vanilla 
and I had then I took that piece and folded it in half and cut it with my trimmer for the inside of my card. Okay, so that's ready. So here is our cardstock and our designer series pa paper ready to use. Now you guys know how to make chickens and you can embellish them any way you want to. You can make summer ones, you can make winter ones. This is a fall chicken. Now the decal, the decal dies have the decal edging. Don't even attempt to line this up perfectly. In fact, may I suggest that you purposely try to leave an edge here so you can see the brown underneath. Okay, now I want you to decide which way you want your wood grain to go. I want mine to go um, horizontal. So I'm just gonna fold, let me see, I want it to go horizontal, so I'm gonna fold it in half like this. Okay, and you will need your bone folder. Hello, Barry. Oh, I was gonna mention that I would like to ask every one of you if you could do me a huge favor. You know I'm trying to grow, you know I'm trying to earn the incentive trip this year, so, I already appreciate that you watch, and most of you have watched me for a while now, if not for the whole time I've been live. Um, but do you think you could share with your friends, um, and, and I do mean the video too, I do mean press share and send it that way, but maybe when you're talking to a friend and they like to craft, maybe you can pass on my Facebook page address and... Um, and my uh, YouTube address and let them decide if they would like to come and watch. I would totally appreciate that. That would be great. So if you have a crafty friend, just mention my name to them and see if they're interested. Okay, so now let's start. I already see a mistake I made because I was thinking about what I just said. I should have left a little corner up like this, which I'm gonna grab right now before it gets sealed down too much, and that is what's so great about the glue. I want a little piece right here in the corner lifted. Okay. And what I want is this leaf right here, and it is this die. We're going to stick that right in there. And if you need to cut it down with your scissors, you can. But if, it, if you don't have to, then you're good. Okay, I think I'm good. And that's his, his, hers beak. And I'm going to point it up just slightly. Okay, so that's the first. Hi, Rhonda. Hi, Colleen. That's the first leaf you use. And in this leaf, I wanted to pull it out a little bit farther, but I pulled it all the way out. In this leaf, there is a slit. Can you see that slit? So it really looks like a beak. It's just crazy how that worked out. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the largest leaf. I'm gonna start in the middle of my project. And I'm gonna have this here so you can see. And it looks like I leaned this to the right a little bit. Okay, so I just put that one down flat with glue. And I only put glue at the bottom part of the leaf. You can put a little bit on part of the stem if you want. And because it's gonna go above the card itself, so you don't want it to have sticky on there, right? All right, so let's lay this this way. Don't want to get it too high, so there we go. Okay, now these two leaves. These two leaves, oh, I'm hearing my mom again. She's been timing me when I'm live. She's getting really good at that. I may have to help her, so if I do, you guys understand. Okay, so I cut the two leaves out of this paper here, 
and we're going to see that they're right here. And then there's this green one. This one here. And I used a specialty paper for the plume on purpose. Okay, so let's put that one down. Mom was sleeping. But I told Ken, I bet she wakes up. And again, I don't want to go too high because we've got to think about our envelope, right? And then, see how these leaves just go right in here. And I'm turning this because if I leave just a little bit of that green showing right there, it mimics or it resembles or reminds me of an eye. So I want that to show. Okay. Hi, Diane. And then I'm going to take this one and I'm going to fill in. Right here, the opposite direction. The leaf is going to be going this way. So you might, if you if you like the, my layout, you might want to watch this um, this uh, recording. You know when it's not live in order to make this, just so you don't have to remember how to lay them all out. Okay, so now I'm going to take this leaf that has the veining on it, and we're going to. Go almost to the tail, right there. Got to put some glue on it. And I'm going to stick it under the larger leaf. You can cut this stem off because it doesn't have a purpose on this card. And I'm just going to kind of concentrate on getting the round end of that leaf on the tail there. Okay. Now there's a double leaf die here and I stamped the mauve paper with the mauve ink and the, and the, the double uh, leaves that come in the set and we're just going to lay this here and sticking up a little bit more for more of a tail feather fit there. Isn't she cute? I just think she's so cute. All right, so now we need her feathers here. So all of these, these little ones, they're just so cool. Let me see, I have, yeah, I wanted them all to be the, um, the flat side. And then I wanted one shiny. So I'm going to lay this one here first. Let's look at the sample. Can you guys see that? Okay, I'm gonna lay that there first. And I think I'm gonna give it a little curl. Okay, a little bit of glue here. And I'm gonna lay it right where I think their feathers would start. Her wings, better word. Okay, so I'm gonna take a dimensional and I'm gonna lay it there. Pull off the backing, hello, and start to curl these leaves. I love these little ones. This is the other one. I think there's two of these, I think. Can't remember. Yeah, there is. There's two of these, so I used one for the beak and then one here. And um, let me see, one, two, that one in the green is it. Okay, so I took off the paper already. So now I'm just gonna lay these larger leaves over the dimensional. And then I'm going to add the smaller one in the middle there to cover up the void. Okay, so you can still see the dimensional there. So we want to take care of that. We're good. I'm going to get about a 12, 13 inch piece of Baker's twine and I'm going to double it. Hello, Vicki. 
and I'm going to make a bow. Okay, pull the tails down. Get my loops separated. Trim that tail right there. And then set your bow down so it covers the rest of that dimensional. Isn't that the cutest thing ever? Now we need a greeting. Hi, Mohammed. And so, uh, where's my lid? I used, I cut it out already, here it is. From the dies is this tag, the square tag, and in the stamp set is Autumn teaches us that change can be beautiful. And I thought that was so important because how many times do our lives change and we must find the beauty in that. Not always easy. My friend and I were talking and we asked God, it's like, what are you trying to teach me? What are you trying to show me through this, right? And it will be something beautiful. All right, so there is in the mauve, Moody Mauve. And then I'm going to tease you with these dragonflies that you can't get right now, but you can get them the week of November 27th. And I'm going to set one right there like that. Then I have... Let's see. No, not those. These. These are adhesive back milky dots. And they have the gold and the mauve and the white. And I just thought they were so pretty right here on this. Let me put this on first so I get them arranged right. I'm going to take two dimensionals. Actually, I'll take three for balance. And set that just above her wings right in there just find your perfect spot okay and then I am going to take these milky dots and I'm going to add a gold one for all that gold in there and then mm, a, a mauve color small. Come here. And then I'm going to come over and I'm going to add another small, but in the gold again here. And then one of the clear. There. And then a larger mauve again for our odd numbers, five. Isn't she gorgeous? Now I think her beak is a little bit too big. I'm gonna push it in a little bit more. There we go, that's better. She had a big mouth. <laughs> okay, so the other great thing about this card, now you can do your writing on here is when she stands up, just like the other chicken, they, they rock because they're a circle, a half circle, but they're just fun. And I was amazed because I love all the chickens I make using circle dies and these deckle dies really are pretty, but I had never made one that was this pretty. And they're always been cute. And I just thought this one was gorgeous. And I love how this area looks like an eye. Unless my imagination, do you guys see what I see? And I just love how you can lay the, the leaves out and make them, you know, all even and give you the whole little chicken. So if you comment, remember, whether you're on YouTube or you're watching me live, if you comment, your name goes in the drawing and you might win this card. All right, so 
Do you have any questions? So pretty, Carol says, and she sprinkled for me. Thank you, Shandura. Hello. All right. I don't see any questions, so I'm going to let you go. Have a nice week and take care. All right. Bye-bye. Oh, I'm glad you love him, Colleen. Thank you. Thanks, Pamela. Great, Vicki. Take care. Bye-bye.